Okay, here's problem number 21, C and D. Uh, what's true about X and this angle that has a measurement of 90 degrees? They are corresponding. And what's true about corresponding angles? They are congruent. So X is equal to 90 degrees. What's true about X and Y? If you add X plus Y together, you get 180 degrees. So we know that, uh, we now know that X is 90 degrees. So what does Y have to be? So that the two added together gives you 180 degrees. And the answer is 90 degrees. So we're done with 21C. Okay, 21D. So we have to figure out um, what X is and what Y is. Some students will make this equation, X plus 9 equals 2Y. And they may tend to doubt that they uh, did something wrong. Because with this equation that has two variables, you can't figure out what x and y is and get a numerical answer. So that equation is valid. We're just not going to use it just yet. What I want to use first is I want to use the fact that the angle that has a measurement of x plus 9 added to the 98 degree angle, those two together sum up to 180 degrees. So now I can solve for x. So that's x plus 107 equals 180. Uh, subtract 107 from both sides. You get what for x? 73. So x is equal to 73. Now I can go back to that initial equation. Since I know what x is, I'm going to take out x. And in its place, I'm going to put 73. So 73 plus 9 plus 98 is equal to 2y. Now you can use this equation to figure out what y is. So let's combine like terms on the left side. So we have 98 and 9. That gives us 107, 110. So 2y is equal to 180. And I just switched sides. So move the 2y to the left hand side and the 180 to the right hand side. So now if you divide by y or by 2 on both sides, you figure out that y is equal to what? 90 degrees. So y is equal to 90 degrees. x is equal to 73 degrees. Uh, correction, y is equal to 90. x is equal to 73. And we're done with 21 C and D.